Hello and thank you for staying with us. This is the time on Plus TV Africa where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I've got Nimi Dekombi and Ifeo Mai with me. Hello. Hey guys. How are you doing? Well, how are you? Yeah, just there. How's your weekend? Boring. Boring? Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's hard to believe. How so? Why? Why is it hard to believe? Because it's you. You usually have something that you're doing. Really? Mm -hmm. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just get right into the story for the day. Tyler Perry confirms no foul play in his nephew's prison death after um, second autopsy. Recall that the filmmaker ordered a second autopsy following the passing of his nephew after he was found dead in his cell. Um, Potter was serving a 20-year sentence in prison for the shooting and killing of his father. Okay, I like that. There was a quick update, and um, I also like that the updates... I don't know if I can use positive in this situation, mm. but yeah, it is positive and it is what they said it was. Yeah. Uh, and he said something, he said um, the knowing the result or knowing the truth does not take away grief, but it's, yeah. it's okay, uh, answers don't take away grief, but they surely give room for griefing to take its course. So yeah. mm -hmm. I guess it's time for them to now grieve properly and... Yeah. I'm Bond. sure he has a lot of questions. I remember in the last the last time he was saying he had spoken to him just recently, mm -hmm. and the man seemed fine and he seemed promising. And I think it just shows again that we have no idea what's going on with the suicide thing. We um, don't. We don't know what actually happens. What makes them do what they do? So, if anything, I know he has a lot of questions um, as to like where he missed out. You know, you couldn't really see it. Uh, it's not easy. I mean, this is somebody that has... I, you have to wonder, first of all, if there wasn't already a history of mental health issues from him being able to kill his father in front of his mother. That already seems like a pretty drastic... Like, nobody makes that statement just easily. Like, I killed my dad in front of my mom. Like, not a lot of people can say that. Um, so already, it, it just gave me the hint that maybe there's already something off a, a bit. So I'm happy that they have been able to now prove that it wasn't actually a, a murder and it was suicide. So... May he so rest in peace. Yeah, um, for me, I think that the fact that it was a suicide just reveals that he must have had mental health issues. And um, for me, because when you look at the um, American um, justice system, when you look at the prison system, you realize that there's a high incarceration of black men. Right. And you realize that conversations are not had about the mental health of some of these black men after incarceration and even during incarceration because the fact that um, Tyler Perry had suspicions about um, his, co his nephew's death, yeah. you know, it could have been, maybe was being bullied in prison because mm -hmm. they said there is a high rate of discrimination even in prison against black men. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, okay, we might think that racism only happens maybe beyond the prison walls. Within the prison walls, you know, there is also discrimination, there's racism. So we don't know exactly what his nephew had been going through, mm. you know, in the prison system you yeah. don't know if he was being bullied by you know the wardens or yeah. the people there we don't know exactly what it was that he was going to that led him to commit suicide because for me even the fact that you know there was no foul play in his death meaning that he wasn't murdered but he actually committed suicide means that i feel like there should still be an investigation carried out to of find course. out what led to, to him suicide, you know taking yeah. that decision looking at what you said also the fact that he um, killed his father in front of his mother. I felt like instead of taking him to the prison, they should have taken him to a mental institution yeah. because the truth is, if it was a white, white man, man he course. would have been taken to a mental health institution because they would have given him several given excuses. Name, yeah. They would have said that, oh, he was a prime student, he was mm. a good student, they don't understand how he was able to do this. Yeah. So there's still this conversation was still boiled down to race, mental health issues, mm. and the fact that people don't often have these conversations when it comes to black men. It's like we're already used to them being like devils. Yeah. So if something like that happens, it's of us to think, okay, should this person be taken to a mental health facility? What, yeah. is, what is it that you were going through? What was it that was in your mental psyche for you to, you know, take this step? We don't look at all of that. We just put them in and the it, prison it's system. It's interesting how you bring up that, that bit because I know for the fact that the way media are released represented in America, let's not generalize it, is that um, black men are usually... Um, branded as violent and then white men are usually 
you the way they represent them is like you want to have sympathy for them like yeah. oh they have this issue and it's you know it's a like the person that shot the black people in church that killed about four people i've forgotten his name he was still in the news the other day for complaining that he wasn't served properly and you know the food or something wasn't good or something like that but you know the, the same treatment would not be given to a black yeah, man they'll have um bigger problems so it's, it's like you know a free man is still facing issues locked you know them if i do them if i don't so it must be it's i haven't lived in america but i can say it must be really hard for a black person to be raised there but back to tyler perry i just hope that him and his family especially the mother who has now lost her husband and her, her son. son i hope they find some peace all right moving on to the next story corona on it's now a coronavirus but i think this is just a a safe reaction from gideon koke he says actors must present medical reports before shooting um icky sensei um he said time has come when we all owe ourselves the responsibility of showing medical records acting is a contact spot what um what with spito running free when in the heat of passion dialogue passionate dialogue Okay, I, I like think he makes sense. Yeah, I, was uh, I thought they were not just this about before. Corona yeah. virus, but the fact that coronavirus. you there's so many viruses and diseases mm -hmm. that can be passed through kissing. Mm. So if you're going to um, assume these roles in any movie, it's just normal for you to have const constant checkup and be sure that you're not passing something from yourself to someone else yeah. because you're just acting, you know. So, if they weren't doing this before, then there is a problem. Yeah, because I know even, especially with the porn industry, it's something that's, like, very big for them. Well, that's <laughs> porn. <laughs> uh, they have, you have to do checkups, but you have to do checkups quite often because of how you know body contact yeah yeah, body is, body yeah contact. that is going on so i'm very shocked if these people are not doing that now um with with coronavirus in 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 town if i can say that way <laughs> that has come to visit us i think you start to really see how much of your hygiene isn't really up to par like when the dog when they announce that we shouldn't be touching our faces and stuff mm -hmm. i've not become so conscious it hasn't stopped but i can count how yeah. many times i'm touching I'm my face i'm touching my eyes my ear <laughs> as i'm eating i'm like did i wash this hand what if i'm transparent something from my hand to the food into my mouth um, so I understand how this is not making him question the level that the level of hygiene that the industry has but I'll just be really disappointed if they haven't done that because I'm just thinking about every person that I've seen acted mm. and I'm like what are you transferring to each other mm. that you don't even know about yeah. um, I think for me um, Gideon Okeke is one of the actors in the industry that I really admire because I think whenever it comes to whatever it is he does, he brings a level of professionalism to it. Right. So um, him saying this, I hope that it's not just going to be a one-off. People, are, the people in the industry would actually take him seriously and put measures in place. Not just because there's coronavirus now, even going forward. forward even after this coronavirus, hopefully we die down. I mean, I heard you can get hepatitis <laughs> in B from kissing. Yeah, yeah, you can. You even can herpes, herpes, too. Herpes is a big so one. That's not big one. Even beyond, yeah. they should and actually make it a... It should really be scary for them because yeah. it doesn't show symptoms early. Mm -hmm. um, and even when you do have it, like, you know you have that condition, it's not easy to identify. Mm -hmm. It's only when your immune system is down, like you have something else already wrong with you, mm -hmm. that you, it starts to come out of the mouth. So you could be steady And it's someone. also possible for someone to have it and because they have very strong immune system it doesn't affect them but, but they are the carrier and they can somebody keep else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. and I also want to draw attention to the way I mean I was having a conversation with some friends and we're talking about the way we have taken let's just call it the media in nigeria because as i remember we have established that everybody's the media these yeah. days increasing the fact that you have a twitter handle means you can spread information right yeah. so the way we took the reportage of coronavirus and also making people understand that you should do this and do that compared to lassa fever that have taken more than a thousand lives mm. just in one week yeah. you know it's, i think it's different why is it Absolutely. different it's different because coronavirus is not just it's not just limited to nigeria it's airborne mm. It's not airborne. Um, no, it's not it's airborne. It's not airborne, but it sort of works. It, it's, it, no, it's, it's not airborne. The reason, the air. the reason what, no, it no it's not. But the reason why it, it works like airborne is, let's say I sneeze on this table yeah. and then you touch the table and touch your face and you get it. So it still has to be through droplets, yeah. um, but it doesn't necessarily work in airborne, like I breathe, you... No, no it's that, not, that's not, it's not that. that is. So, um, but what the conversation is, is that the level of attention that has been given to coronavirus that has not even taken one 
one life in Nigeria compared to Lassa fever that has taken thousands of I lives think, in think Nigeria. The reason for that, for me, what I the person was is saying is the influence of the Western media on us. Even when we try to say, "Oh, we do our thing," we are not trying to be Westernized. Yeah. If this did not start from China, yeah. Okay. And we've been watching it grow and talking about yeah. it in, you know, I don't think this level of yeah. um, attention will be given to it. But we need, we need to go back to look at Lassa fever because it is killing people. Coronavirus Still. has not started. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but I think it's also because of the way coronavirus has been spreading. It is spreading at a very spreading scary. Way. To All over the world. I'm talking about what concerns countries. us and what affects us. But and you see, how but it has got it to the us the right the now. And the also the fact that there is no treatment. Nigerians are also everywhere. As soon as they touch China, it's affecting Nigeria. Touch, touch America is affecting Nigerians. Mm -hmm. Australia is a affecting Nigerians yeah. because we all have someone somewhere, somewhere out, out, there. out there and this world. is something that is kind of like like the name a novel like the, you see that the scientists always call it a novel yeah. like we don't know the it's nature of it Lhasa mm. is has been uh, developed a lot more that people already know like what causes it the symptoms the, the treatment so isn't that why that should be a big problem because you know like you said what causes it the even though it is categorized with still this they are categorized with Ebola virus and the like so right. If you know the reason, you know the cause, you know there is some self, some level of treatment uh, and even preventive measures, mm -hmm. and we're still recording that level of death. I'm talking about the mortality rate now, not mm, just that there yeah. is Lassa fever, right? Yeah. So it's, I, I don't know, it's, it, it bothers me to know that that is where we are and that we, I'm not removing myself from the equation right now. We do not take our lives really seriously. If a person can die and we just move on, and uh, we don't of course, care. because if you look at the, the the Minister of Health, I don't know if you watch his addressing to the world. We're not talking about mm. Nigeria now, and his chair was like, it's like my chair now having tattered the thread and foam is gushing out he was sitting on a chair that didn't even make sense you have to understand that while in a country that do, that doesn't care doesn't have a maintenance mm -hmm. um, culture. culture so even with last fever to, to maintain that like dialogue to maintain that um, information flowing we don't have that it's from top to bottom so but i think that so far know. with the level of work that has been put into containing the coronavirus i think that they've actually tried really in containing it and i think what, what are the level of works put in place? Okay, to be fair, they were to very prepared. To be fair, they and were, they were, they were actually prepared in the, the fact that they were able to even trace, you know, the people yeah. that the man has met mm, in order yeah. to, to be so honest, the, the, I'll say you, I am actually he, The impressed. way he was also explained, I'm, if you watch that, that think so. no, I mean, he had, they had been preparing for it beforehand. So, yeah. the, um, WHO had already come to Nigeria before because we have the highest, one of the highest populations in okay. Africa, if not the highest um so they knew that if you ever got here we are at greater risks of sharing it faster mm. so they had nigeria had already been preparing for coronavirus before it came basically they've trained them and tell them yes, yes. And so and they the actually way they have facilities, facilities. They facilities. Have facilities. I was waiting for you to get there. yeah have i actually did a report on the facilities, and the facilities that they was have. awesome for a Nigerian facility, it was okay. Yeah. Wow. I feel All like right. the way, uh, facilities are not as bad as the way we treat will not be people. As, the human facilities know. is what I feel like we are lacking in. There's a lot of stigmatization that's going on with the mm -hmm. guy, that the Italian that's in the mm -hmm. industry. I mean, he's come out to say that he's being starved. There's no ventilation. There's mosquitoes. No, but actually, it's like that. Right. Those things have just been debunked. The right. So, um, Jog Barons and Yahoo Boys are investing in the Nigerian music industry. This is coming from veteran singer Zaki Aze. He said, right now, it is not about getting a good song or whether your video is good or your song is nice. It is not about that anymore. It's about how much money you can spend to promote a song. Most of the people who have this type of money are into Yahoo or Blood Money. That is the major challenge of the music industry right now. There are a lot of artists who are making it genuinely but that is still the major problem mm. okay so you know there are things that you know I don't I don't I'm trying to mind my words now it's not like you know but you feel like it's happening but because you do not have proof yeah exactly. you cannot exactly come out to say mm. this is what it is right yeah. but do I think he's not making sense? I don't think so. I, I feel like, I mean, he's in the industry. He knows what is going on regardless. He, he still plays some little, little vital roles in the industry and he's our touchlight corner, you know? So <laughs> I know he knows what he's saying, but he yeah. knows what he's saying. But the fact that you cannot actually prove I mean, blood money, we are still battling. Yeah. Let's so just <laughs> like, stay with Yahoo, Yahoo Boys. Yeah. The fact that you cannot call anyone categorically and say the money you're spending in the entertainment industry was gotten from 
um, fraud, fraudulent activities, then it just makes it difficult for me to discuss it. Well, yeah. this, this story for me, on the other hand, is a lot more personal because I can put faces to it. Um, obviously, I'm not going to mention it. <laughs> it's not my job. Yeah. Um, and it was in South Africa, which is why I'm even feeling free to talk okay. about it yeah. because they say if it is snitching on anyone. Mm -hmm. um, but this case, as the reason why I can even bring it on TV is because I actually got into the authority's hands in okay, South cool. Africa, but not the musician, the the sponsor yeah. of the musician. Um, I noticed that he was a Ni they're all Nigerians, obviously. Um, I noticed that they're not all Nigerians, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, these ones in particular okay, are I'm all Nigerians Nigeria yeah. that I'm, okay. I'm, I'm talking about. I noticed that he wasn't very talented. Like eh, it was okay. But his music videos, he had it. I don't want to say he had a song with someone because then you might trace. But he had a song with David Doe. And he had, like, he was making big moves and stuff. And this man didn't have any talent. He wasn't really doing rounds or, like, you know, singing at hubs. Yeah. Or, you know, like, when you see a struggling, active, you know, um, musician, upcoming musician, he wasn't really giving me that vibe, but there was money coming in. And I knew he was associated to. Uh, and then I realized that, okay, this person is also in Yahoo. In Yow Yow. So I noticed that it's a common thing. It is true. Um, and by the time I started seeing all people that they were linked to and how many people were into music, he has a point. Yeah, yeah I, I also um, can kind of agree. And I think where I'm going to, um, what I'm really going to highlight in everything he said was the fact that there are a lot of talented artists who are not or who have not been given the platform to blow because they don't have the money. Yeah. They don't have the money to pay promoters, they don't have the money to pay influencers to promote mm. their music. But these people actually have talent. So it's more or less like these people that are not that talented, but they have the money through they whatever means. Those. Like I still feel like they're not really... You yeah, but they have the money to promote themselves, to right. push themselves out there, yes. for, for them to you know get their music heard. But yeah. these people don't even have the money, they don't have anything to even put Good their music there. Ah. Okay. I don't understand. What, <laughs> you want us to talk about that? But, 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 that, but what that is going to do is that's going to create um, an atmosphere where we have more of um, ta talentless, yeah. you know, artists. But then you, I hope you know that there are talented artists that have been sponsored with this so-called Yahoo guys and they, they kind of make the industry move forward yeah, yeah of course that. there so, there is that category on, on, and then on, there's a category on, of on those the, uh, that the are talented the fundamental would. question of of malian's message is that are yahoo boys a problem to the economy or not wow. so but then let's not go on to that let's okay. just we stay to, on the music we need to go though mm. we'll probably have more on that in the next episode but thank you for watching and um like I always say, you can watch this conversation all over again by visiting our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa, and also do subscribe. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Nimidi Kombi and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Stay with us.